from the Croydon Advertiser and East Surrey Reporter, Saturday the 3rd of January 1885. The new police station. This establishment was opened on New Year's Day for the occupation of the inspectors, sergeants, and the single members of the Mitcham Police Force, as well as for the safe custody of any prisoners whose unfortunate lot it may be to be conveyed thereto. The police station stands on the site of the ancient dilapidated building formerly used for the transaction of police business at Mitcham. It has a neat and modest appearance, and is built of red brick, with stone facings. The entrance door is made of oak, which is reached by small flight of stone steps. On entering a well-fitted and arranged office for the inspector is situated on the left, while to the right is the waiting room. To the front of these two rooms is the charge room, and in close proximity to this are the cells, well ventilated, and fitted up with all the latest improvements and conveniences allowed prisoners. On the first floor in the front of the building of quarters for one married sergeant, who will, as a matter of course live on the premises with his wife and family. The quarters consist of two commodious bedrooms, kitchen with cooking range, and other useful appliances, pantry, and wash house with plate racks, shelves, sinks, with water connection. Every regard to comfort and health seems to have been paid in construction of these rooms. At the rear of the building is the section house on the ground floor for the accommodation of six single constables who will in future live and sleep on the premises instead of lodging different parts of the parish as heretofore. The section house comprises a day room with library, clothes room, boot cleaning room with a small locker for each man's brushes. The dormitory contains six bedrooms, fitted up with hot and cold water baths, is in the top story of this portion of the building which forms one of the most complete, comfortable, and well-arranged police stations in the county. The builders were Lathy brothers of Battersea, and the work was completed in March of last year. From the Mitcham News and Mercury, the 24th of June 1966, page 1. Mayor opens new police station. Mitcham's new £98,000 police station was officially opened on Saturday by the Mayor of Merton, Sir Cyril Black. And over 3,000 members of the public toured the station and visited a special exhibition in the car park throughout the day. The open day was very successful, far better than we anticipated, commented Inspector S. W. Brunger, who organized the day with Superintendent H. W. Gibson. He added, Open days are usually held for particular occasions like an opening, but because the public showed a great deal of interest it is quite possible they will be held more often. The opening ceremony was held on the top floor in the canteen. Members from all walks of life were present and Mr. Robert Carr, MP, arrived later. Sir Cyril Black said he hoped the police would have no work to do in their new station, but if they did it would have a satisfactory completion. He emphasized the need for the public to see what goes on in a police station and to understand the policeman's work. He said, The police are anxious that their work is fully understood by the public. We must realize the task in which the police are engaged. He added, The public have got to be educated in the duty to cooperate with the police. The task of policemen would be easier if full cooperation from the public was always forthcoming. Commander GCF Duncan said the ambition of the police was to show the people of Mitcham what they are paying for and what goes on in the station. He said they wanted to knock down the idea that the police were working behind closed doors. The police had nothing to hide from the public. This is the newest police building in South London, he said, and it took many years to achieve it, but it has got to last a long time and we hope the public will think the money was well spent. Plans for the new station were first underway in 1962 and building started in 1964. It stands on the site of the old station which was built in 1884. Before the public started to arrive the guests were taken on a tour of the station. They saw the various offices, detention rooms and the cells. Then in the car park at the rear they saw an exhibition that included a mobile police unit, police dogs and horses, police sports car and a car that was involved in a fatal accident. The most important exhibition was a special van and equipment used when accidents have occurred and to warn other motorists of the accident and dangers ahead. Then from lunchtime to well into the evening the public was shown round. One little girl was so pleased with her visit that she presented the sergeant on duty at the front reception desk with a flower.